Hey there, hunters, and welcome back to the Gunners Guild. Now, I typically don't make commentary videos. It's not really something I enjoy. But today, I want to talk about Power World. And because it's not out, I kind of have to do it this way. And I just want to talk about why I'm extremely hyped for it, but at the same time, also very skeptical for it. Now, if you know me, or see me on Discord or Twitter or whatever, you know I'm extremely excited for Power World. Like, I love Pokemon. I love guns. So a third-person shooter Pokemon game just rustles my jimmies in all the right way. Now, I love the idea of the game, and every trailer I've seen for Power World has been so perfect to me that it feels like it's been tailor-made for me. Like, I'm that excited for it. But also, because I don't trust the gaming industry at all these days, I have to be extremely skeptical about the game, and I kind of want to explain why, as much as I want this game to be out already, I want my hands on it, I want to play it, because it's due out on the 19th, which is like a week away, but why I don't think it's going to live up to the hype, and this is like to help me taper my expectations, I mean, because at least my hype, because I'm extremely hyped, obviously, and I just, I don't want to get let down too hard, but I do expect it to flop pretty hard, at least on the initial release. Most of this is just baseless skepticism, but I do have my reasons, so let me just kind of dive into this. So I want to start off with the release date and the development timeline for Power World. The first game trailer for Power World was released in 2021, and ever since then, pretty much any game show or game award or anything has had Power World trailers in it. The developers are definitely keeping the game in the limelight in the gaming news cycle. But this also means the game was been in development before 2021 because the trailer obviously had some actual gameplay, it wasn't just Bethesda throwing a title screen out there. Now, the planned release date is January 19th, 2024, but the kicker is that this is releasing into early access, meaning the game is still not done all these years later, and early access is a beast all in itself. Now, I don't particularly like early access games, I tolerate them, and I do play them from time to time, but I do fully expect at this point that early access games won't ever be finished, and the state that they're launched in is largely what they're going to be. Now, of course, this isn't always true. There are plenty of success stories there, so put down your pitchforks, you weirdos. But it could take years to get out of early access. Looking at you, Last Epic, where are we actually at with that? Come on. But by then, who knows? Maybe I'm not even interested in that game anymore. I mean, by the time Last Epic comes out, Po2 is going to be out. And then am I going to care? Probably not. Anyway, Power World is releasing into a paid early access, though they haven't specified the price for the game yet, despite it being a week out, which is also kind of worrying. Even more so when you look back at the developer's previous title, Craftopia. So Craftopia is another open world survival crafting game that was originally launched back in early access in 2020. So not much turnaround between this and Power World, suspiciously so. When Craftopia originally launched, it was in a terrible state. Performance issues, lack of features, you name it. Typical early access launch, to be honest. That being said, though, it's in a much better state today, and the Steam reviews reflect on it. The developers are very open with their audience and have improved Craftopia a ton, though performance issues are still around. But the problem here, I see, is that Craftopia is still in early access. Even though developers moved on to the next game, and I'm not here to say that they're not going to finish Craftopia, they're just going to leave it behind in the dust or something, but if it's still in early access four years later, is Power World ever going to be finished? If it's going to be four years later, am I even going to care? I don't know. This is what's starting to raise some red flags. It makes me worried. And then when you look at Craftopia as well, it pretty much looks identical to Power World, but you're changing that fantasy sword and board setting for Pokemon with guns. So I fully expect the two games to be extremely similar, which obviously leads me to think that Power World is just going to be reused content from Craftopia and then new skin slapped on it which, again, worries me. They even have the same trailers with identical music. It's super weird, just look at it. Granted, this is the same as the Breath of the Wild trailer in pretty much any open world game these days. But speaking of the game and its features, prior to this launch, we pretty much only saw trailers just showing that this game was basically Pokemon with guns with some crafting and base building and stuff. But the game is actually being described in Steam as an open world survival game for 32 players now. And this is another thing that kind of raises big red flags. So 
It's an open world survival game. This immediately tells me that there's probably no story, no campaign or path or anything other than what you kind of just see in games like Rust, Minecraft and Ark. You build, you survive, and in Power World, you make guns and shoot Pokemon. And because it's an early access, and even if they do promise these actual story elements or campaigns or something like that, it's most likely not going to be in the game at this early access launch point. And in fact, I'll wager a ton of the features that they show aren't implemented at launch, or at least in a working state. It does seem like the developers are just taking Craftopia and slapping on Pokemon with guns, which again, I'm not mad at. I really want this game a lot. But it all starts to feel extremely hollow when I look at it more and more. And of course, this part is just me speculating because we don't have the game in hand to make these accusations. But in the gaming industry, if something is too good to be true, it pretty much always is. And to me, Power World has always looked too good to be true. It's like a fever dream made just for me. But the other red flag for me was in the recent trailer that showed the actual release date is saying up to 32 players now, which pretty much confirms that Power World is going to be a server based multiplayer game akin to like Rust or Ark, something like that. So really, in a game like this, can there even be significant storylines, dialogue, unique NPCs and characters and stuff like that that we would expect from a traditional either Pokemon game or just single player game in general? Like, if this is truly a multiplayer survival game, pretty much through and through, which is not exactly what I want in every other trailer didn't really emphasize on that as much as now. And that kind of ambiguity to this point kind of makes me concerned some more. While a lot of the more recent trailers showed more players and NPCs, I'm really hoping that's not just for show or not, you know, content planned in the future. Because the last thing I want to see is just to jump in the world and it be like just completely barren. And the last red flag for me is the recommended specs for Power World on Steam. It's recommending 32 gigs of RAM, which is absolutely insane, especially for a game like this. I don't have a single game on my Steam library that has a 32 gigabit RAM recommendation. Even Cyberpunk says it's 16 gigs recommended. And the recommended CPU is also an i9 9900K 3.6 gigahertz. And that is insanity. That's pretty much top of the line. So I'm terrified for how poorly optimized this game's gonna be at early access launch. Craftopia still has performance issues to this day. And has anyone ever heard of an early access title with great performance? I expect this to be a big part of the problem come launch as PC has been plagued by poor performance games in the past few years. And I really don't see that slowing down anytime soon. And I'm betting you that most of the players that want to play this game don't have rigs that are up to their recommended snuff. Now, Power World did have an internal beta weekend that they were hosting on their Discord. I think they've had a few, actually. So some people have played the game, supposedly. Obviously, they can't talk about it due to NDA and stuff. But some people out there knows what the game is and how it plays. I'm sad I didn't get accepted to try because then I wouldn't have to make the speculation video if that was the case. But the game is coming out, and I'm not saying that Power World is some kind of scam game. It's going to be released on the 19th, and it'll be probably what it shows it is. I'm just afraid of the performance, available features, bugs and other technical problems, risk of it never being finished, and the fact that it's a paid early access title. Looking back on Craftopia it made me quite uneasy for Power World. Again, I'm not here to shit on this game. I want to play it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to pick it up at launch, and I hope it's great. It's pretty much everything I want in a game right now that isn't Monster Hunter. So let's hope I'm wrong, but I do have a lot of reasons to be worried. I just kind of wanted to share that for a bit. But anyway, that's going to be all for me. Thank you all for watching. And if anyone wants to talk shop about gaming or anything, feel free to join my Discord in the description below. But yeah, peace and good luck out there, hunters.